And while we are talking about Balochistan, do you remember the mysterious death of Karima Baloch in Canada? An activist who tried to be the voice of her native Baloch community. Well, Canada never took action against a political activist's death. Now the Baloch national movement is carrying out protests in Geneva. Among the protesters is the activist's husband, Hamal Haider. He has blamed the Pakistani ISI for Baloch's killing. The widower has also blamed Canada for not showing interest in the issue. What does Prime Minister Trudeau have to say? Will Pakistan reply to the accusation? Let's get into the details first. On to the United Nations to take up actions against Pakistan and put some serious pressure on Pakistani uh, government, uh, especially the military establishment, to stop killing uh, activists in Balochistan and outside of Balochistan. That was Baloch's husband. He has accused Pakistan's intelligence agency and said that his late wife's killing was orchestrated in a bid to eliminate activists abroad. But why did he call out Pakistan? Why point out Pakistan's inter-services intelligence? Listen in. There's no doubt that the Pakistani military establishment, especially the Pakistani ISI and intelligence are behind Karima's killing. And we also suspect that Sajid Sen was also killed, uh, assassinated in a similar manner. So um, uh, we think that the ISI, but we believe that the pa Pakistani uh, military intelligence and ISI behind uh, killing of Karima and Sajan uh, um, uh, trying to kill other political activists. You see, the shadow of doubt over Pakistan stems from the activists being a critic of the nation. Baloch was a vocal critic of the Pakistani army and the state's repression of a native community in Balochistan. After her mysterious death in Canada, her body which was to be transported from Karachi to Balochistan, was forcibly taken by Pakistani authorities and taken to her hometown in Pakistan. Reports say that the activist was buried under the army watch. Those who come to pay respects were not allowed to come near the body. The surrounding areas near the burial site were put under strict lockdown. Why forcibly take her body to Pakistan? Why did the burial happen under such intense security? Why is Canada not asking these questions? Baloch's husband has now called out Prime Minister Trudeau. Haider says that the Canadian government has shown no interest in uncovering the truth. I believe that the Canadian government and the Canadian justice system uh, didn't do well for Karima Baloch. She died in a suspicious manner and suspicious circumstances. And we have been requesting the Canadian government uh, to investigate her case, but we have seen no interest from the Canadian government. So it's our firm belief that the Canadian government is not concerned about our uh, activists living in Canada and they are not interested in Karima Baloch case. The Baloch Human Rights Council or the BHRC has questioned Trudeau and said, and I quote, my question to Trudeau is that why is Canada not questioning Pakistan on committing atrocities and killing people? Is Canada not asking such questions because of the Baloch gold? So what do they mean by Baloch gold? You see, the Baloch American Congress claims that Canada became a partner of the Pakistani Punjabi army to loot the gold of Balochistan. The BHRC has requested the UN to visit Balochistan and see the reality for themselves. It has highlighted the plight of Balochistan's people and the pain that the Pakistani army has caused. I'm once again quoting the BHRC. Find out what the Pakistan army is doing. Pakistan cannot sustain itself. Pakistan cannot feed itself. They are feeding Pakistan army with the gold of Balochistan. We want the army, the barbarian army, to be out of Balochistan. Is Canada taking a step against Pakistan? Has Prime Minister Trudeau addressed the current accusations? Not even a word. Trudeau's silence is raising tensions. Some officials are concerned about the government's consistency and fairness. They are now questioning Trudeau's heightened interest in the Hardeep Singh Nijjar case. The Baloch Human Rights Council of Canada released another statement. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's conspicuous silence regarding the unexplained death of Ms. Karima Baloch stands in stark contrast to his speeches and extensive media coverage concerning the death of Hardeep Singh Nijjar in Canada. The BHRC Canada said that the government knew about the threats that Baloch received from the ISI. 
Reports say that the government maintained complete silence on the matter. What game is Canada trying to play? Why keep silent on such a pressing issue? We will keep a watch as the story unfolds. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.